gonna have to restart the live. Why? Wait, 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 wait. It might fix itself. Okay, there's Oak and Lamb. Look at Oak and Lamb for a second. Oh, there we are. There. Uh, praise God, that never, ever, ever comes back up. Thank you, Lord. Hi, guys. This is the most freaking monday is Tuesday. We might should stop. We might should stop while we're ahead. Honestly. Wow. Oh, what a day this has been. And you it's have I'm not no even here idea. with the train wreck, Anna. You have no idea. I get here at 805 with my pumpkin spice latte and my bagel and I sit at my desk. <laughs> And I go to take a swig of my, of my pumpkin spice latte, and the lid wasn't on good, so it comes out of the lid, and I feel warmth on my chest. And it's just, I got, I got, coffee got me. Sly, I was sly. I was like. Yeah, I didn't even know about it. I was it. like, Becca doesn't have to know. So I put my cup down and then scurry to the bathroom where I get a paper towel and like blot it to hopefully absorb the coffee. And then I sit back down, and then there was, since it poured out of the lid, there was a little bit dripping down, so I thought, I'm going to get a nap and wrap it around it. So I got a napkin to wrap around it, so I pick it up. Well, the lid, since it's not on correctly, the lid falls off my coffee. Coffee spills, but I catch a little bit of it. But it's, like, mostly all over me. I a, was good, like, a good fourth of the cup was on her. I was yeah. wearing a new shirt. I was wearing a little cardigan. Yeah. Uh, and now I had to put on my bleach hoodie, which is, you know, fitting, since today we're going to be bleaching things anyhow. Uh, and then I, I literally said, this coffee, I, it's too sweet. I'm not going to drink it. Why did I get it? I hate this coffee. So I sat to the side of my desk. Well, it, me and Becca got to chit chat and then we were like multitasking and doing stuff. And we looked up and it was 10, 28. And I thought, oh, it's live time, let's go. So I pick up my computer and I start walking. It's plugged in. <laughs> and I sat my coffee on the table, or like around the charging cord. So I literally just pull my coffee off the table. And about four feet from my craft table is the, the producing producer, yeah. producer's table with all the equipment on it. It spilled all over my chair, all over the floor, all over the, the equipment. On and the wall, on, on the, the wall, filing cabinet. Yeah. On my fat head of Charlie that I used to wave hello at everyone. And I was mortified. So there I am, butt up in the air, just trying to wipe it off. And Becca's hee-haw laughing. I said, you're going to have to message him and tell him that we're late because I spilled my coffee like an idiot. But anywho. Anyway, that's the kind of Tuesday we're having. But now we're going to change up our Tuesday. Now we're going to yeah. have a great Tuesday. Yeah. From 1038 beyond. Yes. So if you all are brand new here, mm. welcome to Oak and Lamb. My name is Rachel Langston. I'm an owner and craft educator here. And the voice that you hear is Miss Becca Oaks, who is also an owner and craft educator here. And we are so glad that you're taking time out of your day to be here live with us. We're going to be making a bleached flannel. Now you can do this many different ways, many different uh, patterns, designs, names, whatever. We have two examples behind me. Uh, this one I actually made years ago, literally years ago. Uh, the more it's washed, if it's laid out in the sun, you can see how it's a bit more white than this one. That's because this one was just made. If you lay that sucker in the sun, let the heat really bake it, you wash it a couple times, it'll be a little more whitewashed like that one too. But I just made this one, says Fall Babe. That's one of the hundreds of cup files we have at Oak and Lamb. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be doing that today. I don't know if we're going to do Fall Babe again. I might just show you Fall Babe again, or we might do uh, a, a monogram. You guys can let me know. But I'm so glad you guys are here. Let me see. Yeah, good morning, everyone. What a day to start the day. It can only get better from here. Jenny, that's right. It can only, well. All our coffee's gone, so it has to be better. It, ha it has to be better. I meant to throw that coffee away like a thousand times. It was way too sweet. I couldn't even drink it. It was way too sweet for me. Um, shame. Shame. But, yes, it can only go up from here. So, uh, I'll talk about supplies. They're extremely minimal today. This craft is going to... The craft itself... I'm not saying the video is going to be quick because it never is. The craft is a very quick craft. It doesn't take any time at all to make. Super, super quick. So, we have a flannel... Uh, I could say, guys, use our Amazon link, la dee -da. Please don't. Like, don't use, a, don't buy a flannel off of Amazon. I already checked. They're kind of expensive. This one was $11 at Walmart. And we, we're here to make sure you guys save money. Go to Walmart and get a flannel. Get the men's ones, please. If you're a lady, trust me. Trust me. You want the men's size as well because they're more boxy. They're, they, don't, they don't hug you. And who wants to be hugged when you're, like, at a pumpkin patch and it's cold 
and you want to like, you know, hold a little hot chocolate, definitely not a pumpkin spice latte. I have PTSD now, I don't talk about it. But you don't want to be hugged. I don't like to be hugged. I don't want my clothes to hug me. So these fit great. I got them oversized. One of them's a tall. This one's a, a T, a tall. Um, I say oversized, but it would fit me perfect. This is a 3X. And funny story. <laughs> this one that I brought from home. Again, I made this years ago, right when I got married. And today I was doing my hair in the bathroom and I thought, let me go get mine out of my closet and I'll bring it to show it today too, to show them how long it lasts. Because I wear it, uh, <laughs> war. I used to wear it every year when it got cold and I thought maybe it was like an XL or a 2X, like most likely an XL. So I thought maybe I'll be able to wear it <laughs> over something. I go to find it. I remember purchasing this at Walmart and wanting it super baggy and roomy, just, you know, really big and roomy. So I got a large. <laughs> so then I cracked up all day about it and I was walking out and I said, James, look, I forgot, I about forgot my shirt. And he goes, <laughs> and I love him. He did not mean this, but he was actually like going to save my pride if I thought I was going to. He goes, oh yeah, you're going to take it to work. Are you going to wear it? <laughs> I said, honey, I couldn't get it over my arm. No, I'm not going to wear it. I'm not going to. Uh, but I got some of these at Walmart yesterday. Same exact kind, the George kind. Let me tell you what they're made of as well. But that's just a funny story. Also, guys, buy clothes that fit your body. Never make your body fit your clothes. Just, just don't do it. It's a recipe for disaster. 55% uh, cotton, 45% something that I'm not going to say right. Start with V. V I S C O S E. This viscose. Viscose. It's forty five percent of it. It's almost half made I've of never whatever even that is. Heard of that? But it bleaches <clears throat> well. So this one's made of the exact same material, same brand, just a little bit older. So I got this one. I like this pattern a lot better, but I couldn't find it in the tall. That one was in a tall, but it looks really cute. Uh, so we have our flannel. You don't have to pre-wash it or anything. You might want to pre-iron it if you want to, but it's not a necessity. Um, also, get a piece of 12 by 12 vinyl. Maybe it's a maybe it's a stencil vinyl. Maybe it's a vinyl you don't love the color of. Uh, we don't have a lot of that here, so we have oodles of black vinyl. So we're going to be using black vinyl today. We're going to be using some masking paper transfer tape. And I have a piece of parchment here because after our vinyl is down, I like to cover it with parchment paper and use the brayer to really bray it down to get that vinyl to stick really well on those fibers. Uh, so we have that. Uh, we have a heat gun and the uh, product of the day is bleach. Um, I was trying to test and get my uh, mist spray right in the bathroom <laughs> and for forgot to tell Becca that I basically uh, poured half a cup of bleach in the bathroom <laughs> sink. So she walks in there and it hits her like a ton of bricks and she goes, oh my God, and puts her face in her hoodie. God love her. I'm trying to kill her, I swear. I couldn't breathe. She, no, no, I was trying to kill her for sure. Uh, so you're going to want that. You're going to want a mist sprayer. Like a regular sprayer, it'll work, but it doesn't like mist it around. It's pretty concentrated. And I am also um, redeeming myself for the biggest fail of my career here at Oak and Lane, which was the live <laughs> that I refused to uh, prep because I was so overly confident. So you bet your booty I prepped one today to make sure I wasn't going to relive that horrible nightmare that I think about often. So... That's about it. We have some weeding tools we're using our Maker 3. We have a standard grip mat or a pretty new light grip mat would work just fine. We're just cutting regular vinyl. Uh, nothing spectacular. Uh, some things to think about with your design. You want your design to... I wouldn't have a design that is too busy because remember, it's not like you're placing vinyl on glass where the vinyl is going to stick perfectly. It's not going to stick amazing. That is why you have to be super careful. Uh, the the fall babe actually was really good because it was kind of thicker and fatter in a lot of parts and that allowed more surface area for the vinyl to have to stick really well. The vinyl on the monogram stuck pretty well too, uh, you know, if I'm remembering correctly a couple years ago. Uh, but you don't want something that's like a bunch of lines of text or, you know, super small, intricate words. You want something kind of big and kind of bold. So do think about that when you are designing yours. Um, I wonder if that was the hats. Surely it wasn't. The hats was not nearly 
because the hats, I feel like in my heart, wasn't my fault. The bleach thing, thousand percent Rachel. Like, Rachel, you're an idiot. What are you doing? The hats, though, I don't feel, in, in, until the live in and Rebecca made one and it looked gorgeous. But we're not going to, we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it, I swear. Okay, so all of the supplies are linked down below, including the flannels. They are only like $11.98. And again, they're really cute under some leggings with some little fall boots. Do people still wear that? I think so. I do. With some little fall boots and a shirt underneath. <clears throat> they're not heavyweight, but they're also not light as a feather either. I think it's a really good uh, medium weight uh, flannel. So, and they have 15... 15 colors online in 14 different sizes. You heard me correctly. So go check that out online. I don't think people buy things from Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> they do. I don't think people order things from Walmart that often, but it's actually really handy. If you can't find something in store that you really want, prices are the same online. Usually it ships free to your house. Yeah. Okay. It, let's go over to Design Space. I already have the designs ready to go here. This is my monogram with a monogram font. Fonts are free all day long, uh, at least for personal use. So definitely check out, uh, just Google monogram fonts for free, or you can even try and Google monogram fonts for free with commercial license and you can see what you can find there. Uh, usually you will have to pay for the commercial use, but since I'm just using this for me today, we can do this or we can use Fall Babe. Now this is not what this Fall Babe cut file looked like. Oh, and Rachel, uh, Rachel's so bad at putting it in the original file because now I have to go find it. And it's way deep in here. Let me find it. We're close. We're close. There it is. Here's what the actual fall babe cut file looks like. You talk about stunning. Look at these colors. Look how stinking cute. And I went in there and sliced out all the middles of the letters. And I can do that right now for you guys as well. So I'm going to slice this out of the that layer. So let me grab this and I'm gonna go shift, click it, and slice. Now you can take these out. That is not what I was trying to do. I remember how bad this confused me anyways. Slice result, delete. Well, I didn't slice it. Let me try again. Ugh. So I want to slice, shift, click, slice. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Now you can only slice two layers at a time. Please note that. I don't want you guys to be um, disappointed when that happens and you're not able to slice anything. Shift, hold down shift, slice. Let's see about this. Perfect, got that one done. Now I think I just have two more. Let me grab, let me hold that. And this one, slice. And when you're here in Design Space doing this yourself, it'll, it'll make much more sense when you're looking at the layers. Uh, but I mean, this is not a necessity for using this file for pretty much anything else. But since I'm gonna be putting it on a flannel, I did want uh, the letters to all be sliced out, so. I'm going to take that one, hold down shift so I can select multiple layers, slice, bing, bam, boom, done. Okay, so now the next thing I did was just weld this together. Now you can weld or you can attach, totally up to you. And for some reason it picks a random color whenever you choose to weld it because last time it chose this dark orange and this time it chose this. Uh... Becca, what color would you call this? Blush. Bl oh, blush. Blush. It's a blush color. Uh, so that's all you have to do with that one. Let me know which one you guys want to see. Becca will let me know. But I can I can do either of these. I can do the monogram or I can do the fall babe. Um, yeah. So I have, no, I have no plan. So I'll wait on you guys to tell me what you want. While they're choosing that, yeah. um, prayers to Florida and our friends there as they are getting ready to brave a storm. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, oh. Miss Linda is there. Oh, Linda, prayers yeah. for you and, and all of you guys, Absolutely. honestly. Um, oh. Crystal says fall, babe. Well, it is awfully cute. Oh, that is cute. Ah, uh, we're gonna go with fall, babe, then. Let's okay. go with fall, babe. I'm gonna cut this out. 
Now fall babe is shorter, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide this and click make it. And I'm gonna look here, I need about eight inches, so I'm gonna cut on my, a little bit below my eight inch mark. You guys don't have to see this. I don't know what camera she's on, but you don't have to watch it. I did it overhead. Okay, perfect. Uh, <laughs> then I'm gonna click continue. This is, oh, I have to connect. This is regular vinyl, so you don't have to mirror this. I'll select that device. I'm going to straighten this out on this mat. And then we'll select our material setting, which we're just going to be using premium vinyl removable mat. Now we're going to braid this down. Load it on up and cut it all out. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Load it up. All right. I'm going to go back to our comments so I can see you. Everyone says fall babe. None of you care about my monogram. I'm truly hurt. Not one of them want your monogram. Rude people. I'm kidding. I would pick fall babe. I did. I think it's so sick and cute. Um, and again, that is just one of lots and lots of cut files that we have at Oak and Lamb. Uh, if you would like to become a member, please do. You can actually get... $35 off your very first year with us if you use the code 35 now. Or is it off? You can use either. Either one. You can use either. Uh, so you can use, I think the one that we're going to use today is 35 off. Correct. So yeah, 35 off. OFF. Grab that. We have hundreds of cut files. Free commercial use licensing. Danielle wanted Facebook. your monogram. Do what? Danielle wanted your monogram. Danielle. Yeah. You're the real winner, Danielle. Real winner. But you could do so much with her cut files. Just like that one, I modified it a little bit and turned it into a gorgeous, gorgeous little a stencil that we're going to be able to put on our um, flannel. Now, you can do this several different ways as far as the bleach goes. Um, this time, I might go throw it outside, honestly. Not this time. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you could. I could. Or I could. I don't know. I don't know if I want it to blow away or anything. The wind has been crazy here, which is fine. So, I like the monogram idea, but a different font. Yeah, Carly, that's one of the beauties of it. Make it however you want to. Uh, any monogram you have, any design you have, you can, you can customize it totally. Okay, I'm going to unplug our Cricut because we don't need it no more. Bring this in. I don't have a lot of trimming to do. I've... Um, I've used most of this. I'll trim it a little bit though. It cut really well. You guys might not be able to see it. I'm gonna bray before I weed. Whenever you use regular adhesive vinyl, that is so important. Now I'm gonna grab a weeding tool and go ahead and weed this on up. Just like that. Now get the insides. I like to do it one word at a time. Just like that. So cute. Okay. Um, putting that back. Now we're going to use some transfer tape. I am going to peel it off of the roll, size it to my design, use some little scissors to cut it off of the roll. I'm not going to rip it like I'm some kind of fiend that grew up in a barn. Am I, Becca? No. No, I'm not. I know you don't mean that like you said it. You, you think I don't? <laughs> uh, you have me mistaken. I didn't need that. I think you're just bitter because you spilled your coffee everywhere three times this morning. So I'm going to let it go. I don't spill my coffee most days and I'm still mean to you. I know. She's, I know. Now I put this on my shirt twice because I want this to have extremely light tack. The only real reason that I'm using transfer tape is so I don't have to place these on individually. That would be a legit nightmare. Just not worth it at all. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Measure this out. Cut it. Put it on my shirt twice. Oh gosh, this is a great question and I can't even remember mm -hmm. a spiral Betty question. If I reverse a spiral Betty, would it allow me to put on the inside of a frame instead of the outside? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. Yeah, 
I mean, it's been it's so the same long since I did one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that spiral bed was fun. I thought it was fun. It is fun, yeah. It's crazy to see it cutting. It's weird, Me yeah. and Becca both thought, this is never going to cut well. It's never going to weave well. It's never going to apply well. It did great. And it, it was so cool. Whoever the, came up with that was, oh. Is the hoodie you're wearing a print and cut or sublimation? It's actually direct to garment printing. Yep. Good question. You guys know we burnish the crap out of our stuff here. Or at least I do. I'm not going to speak for Becca. She can speak for herself. Nice, Jenny. She said, I've been waiting for a good sale for a brayer and bought one yesterday at Michael's. They have 50% off of Cricut accessories. Ooh. Apparently, um, the Cricut Joy is also $99 at Michael's right now, too. So. You want one? I don't care about those little things. I'm kidding. That's a really good deal, actually. What, the, what, what are they normally, like 160 or something? Yeah, and then Dreamy said that she found one at Walmart for forty nine dollars. Whoa! Right. Okay, I'm unbuttoning my shirt and removing anonymous hair from it. More anonymous hair. My hair is not long anymore, so can't blame me for that. I'm gonna put down a poster board and lay our flannel flat, just like this. Just like that. I know you probably can't see a lot. Of it. Wow, the camera makes this look like a electric blue. Did you, did you see that? Yeah, it's camera? really bright. That's interesting. Oh, it's me... not bright in person. It's really not. I'm going to try to fix it. So you're going to lay this down. Even it up a little bit. Put your, throw your, um, these things. Throw sleeves. <laughs> throw your sleeves to the side. Get it to look pretty natural as far as the way it's laying. That way it'll be easier to place it in the, in the center. Because let me tell you guys, because this is such an odd material to place vinyl on, you basically have one chance fancy to get this vinyl down. If you remove it and try and stick it back down, it's not going to work because the fibers will have removed most of the stick. So you basically have one chance to lay this down evenly. But I'm just going to go ahead and say, sometimes arms are different sizes. Sometimes shoulders lay weird. Sometimes you can have it perfectly even here but you put it on your body and it's not even that isn't always your fault just saying so basically what I'm saying is just do the best that you can with sizing uh it's always good to size. I don't even know if you can see both these points that I'm pointing at I can yeah okay but this is the edge of the shoulder here and this is the edge of the shoulder here or the beginning of the sleeve rather so you can size it right here or personally right here I don't know if you see this this line is actually where it was professionally folded. So this is a really good indicator as far as what is the middle as well. So I would not recommend um, ironing that out because it's a really good line for you guys to see what the middle is of your shirt. So if you can just get it even top and bottom, then usually side to side you can get it pretty good and even. So I'm gonna remove the backing and reveal our vinyl. And if the vinyl's wanting to stick to the backing like that, that's honestly a good thing. That means that your transfer tape is not very sticky and it should, keyword should, come off really easily whenever you lay it on your um, shirt. So I'm gonna put my fingertips right next to the edge of the vinyl so that when I'm laying this down, I have a bit of a guide. Cause if I was to place this down from the edge this of the transfer to the edge of the transfer, it would be off. Cause you can see the edge of this has just a little bit of room. The edge of that has a lot of room. So I have to put my fingers right there just as a little guide. Now, I think this is pretty good and centered from my fingers. I want to bring it down just a hair, actually. It's a little high to me. Because you want it near the top of your back, but like not, not like on your neck or anything. So I'm going to lay that down, stretch this out, place it down. I'll take your brayer, bray this down. Give it some pressure, push in those fibers, like that. Now this, you're going to think, oh, this isn't working right. It's working fine. Go ahead and remove this. Look how easy that's sticking down. And the key that works for me is the rocking. Rocking my vinyl back and forth. Or not your vinyl, excuse me, rocking your transfer tape back and forth. Pull it, rock it. Choke up on it too. Don't just keep pulling it. Whenever you pull it an inch or so, move your fingers closer to it. If 
But you guys might not think that vinyl will stick onto shirts like this really well. They do. It honestly does stick pretty well. Now look at that. Oh, how cute. Oh, okay. Now is when I like to put that parchment paper down and uh, bray it, but it fell on the floor. So I'm going to use this just as easy. Just something to cover it. Just like that. And all this is going to do is, again, push that vinyl down because when we peeled up that transfer tape, we peeled up a little bit of that vinyl on the edges, and we want a nice seal there. Now, this is not to say that our bleach is still not going to penetrate through the bottom because it very well might penetrate a little bit. I can take this one down, I'll show you. And it's still a little bit wet, so I'll be careful. But you can see a little bit, can you see it in the A and the B, where that bleach has went through like two threads. Now again, it looks so um, rustic, that not rustic, but like worn, that it's totally fine. But you can just see tiny little imperfections that does happen. And that's fine, that's fine. Now I will say, this is the color that's going to be the most shocking because it's such a dark color, the, the bleach will really take well to it. So I'm just gonna go in here with my fingers and make sure everything's down nice. That's good, okay. Now I'm gonna move my computer out of the way and we're gonna start bleaching. Um, now Becca, you might wanna switch to me just so they can see how far away I am with the sprayer. I know you can see me in the top corner, but I have my sprayer set to mist, set to light mist. You wanna make sure this is even uh, something you want to keep in the front of your mind, <laughs> something I'm still trying to learn, is you can always add more bleach, but you cannot take bleach away. So start off with a couple spritzes and wait and watch the bleach take effect. Again, it is faster in the sun, but if, I mean, I think it's really heat. So we have a little heat gun here to help dry it out a little bit quicker, uh, but you'll be able to see pretty quickly the design and how it's going to turn out. So you can choose to spray your bleach like going all the way down your shirt. You can choose to keep it really concentrated right at your design, or you can make it a little bit, a little bit far out, a little bit, you know, through the perimeter, kind of like this one where it's kind of like a circle around it. Uh, this one's kind of like half down, you know, I mean, there's different ways you can do it. So definitely um, do whatever you want to do. So we're going to start, start with a couple spritzes. Okay, now we're gonna wait. If you wanna go overhead now, Becca, they can watch it happen. It's already happening, which is nuts. Look to at me. that, that is insane. It's nuts to me that bleach does that. Now, Rach, what do you think of regular bleach versus like the gel? Splashless? Yeah. You don't wanna use splashless for this unless you want a super specific look. Like, okay, my other project that I did that was a bit of a flop, that would have been good with splashless bleach and a brush, like to brush it on so it doesn't like, you know, soak up or get around or underneath the design. For this, since we're going for like the, that look, you know, uh, this, this bleach that is not splashless is what you'd want to use for this specific project. Um, plus it squirts through a squirt bottle. If you want to use splashless bleach, I would reverse the, the design and make it a true stencil and go in with a paintbrush and brush inside your stencil where we uh, are using this just like a, a vinyl sticker that we're going to remove. Uh, that's a good question though. Becca, what, what is your thoughts? Oh, I agree. Okay. Yeah. So this is what it's looking like so far. Actually super stinking cute. And you can see where it's like uh, got a lot of that color coming out where it doesn't. So I'm gonna hit the spots that it doesn't a little bit more. And I'm also gonna spray little like half sprays. So it gets some of those um, drops, like these little droplets down here. I like it, I like it to look like that too. So there's some confusion about the process here and some people think that this is HTV. Um, oh, good question. Yeah. No, this is vinyl, this is adhesive vinyl. So we're using this as a quote stencil. stencil. Yes, that we have placed on our shirt, we're gonna be removing this vinyl to reveal the original color of the flannel underneath it, which then will allow you to read the design. So this is not gonna have any HTV on it. It's not gonna have any vinyl on it whatsoever. Uh, we're using the vinyl as a tool to be a barrier against the bleach going in that area so that you can see the bleach when you, or so you can see the design when you remove the vinyl. Right, good. 
Um, they're question. loving the color that it's turning, and yeah. I have to agree. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, and also, I just want to mention, you're looking at this, and you might think, oh, I don't think you'll be able to read this if I remove those letters. It's surprising how much the bleach transforms the color. If I were to take this B and peel that B up, you'd be able to read that a mile away. I mean, honestly, it is. it does a great job, so don't over bleach it. I got me some little droplets like I wanted down here. You can add more if you like it by just like little half, half squirts. If you want to add more, you can add more. I like those little droplets though, so I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to get a paper towel. This is not for right now, but before I remove my design, I like to go in there and pat my letters so that I just don't get wet bleach everywhere because that's a recipe for disaster, honestly. So I'm going to pull our poster board and our design down so you guys can see it better. But that's probably all the bleach that I'll do. I don't think I'll do any more bleach. I think we're pretty much done with that. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to set it behind me. No more bleach. I'm taking away the temptation. Colors would be good for 4th of July. Patrice, it would be. See, you never know really how how the bleach is going to take off the color. Because um, this one behind me, it turned into like a pretty burnt orange where that bleach hit it. Uh, and this one, like you said, it'd be really good for 4th of July. Sure would. Sure would. Okay. <sighs> Plus, HTV is more expensive. Yes, it is. Um, but no, we there's no HTV necessary which is great. These would honestly be exceptional things to sell this fall. You could make 10 different designs or whatnot. Now again, Oak and Lamb does have that free commercial use license, which means you can sell any project you make using our cot files, which is super fun. So you could use this fall, babe, sell this just as is, you know, it'd be super quick. This makes me want to go and get little flannels for the kids. To do some bleach, like That'd the dip cute. bleach. Oh, yeah. Because oh, I yeah. love those for the kids. I do. And I love I, that dip bleach. They've outgrown theirs. I need to do them. Oh, it's one. lifting so good. It's going to be a really fun color. And for 12 bucks. Mm -hmm. Come on. You can't beat it. Yeah. You can't beat it. It's great. Did you get those from East End or West End? East End, but West End will definitely have them. Well, uh, so I was thinking I might go to West End to see if they have my longest size that I want. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah. Because that blue I love. Yes, I love the blue. And again, they didn't have the tall in the blue. Which, Becca, I'll put them neck to neck. I'm not seeing much of a difference. Really? Oh. Maybe an inch. That's disappointing. Yeah, I'm not seeing a, a heck of a difference here. Oh, when I first saw the product, I thought you bleached it and put HTV on it, but I get it now. Diana, yes. Yes. Which is cool. I think it's really cool. That you don't have to add vinyl or HTV or anything. Oh, I love these drips on the bottom. Cute. Okay. I'm going to take this heat gun and just heat around my letters. I want to kind of cure that a little bit because I'll be pawing at it. Removing those letters. Now, you don't want to bake your bleach too much because the fumes are kind of rough. Do this outside, honestly, if you can, which I would anyways. I'd lay it down on my sidewalk or on your driveway or in the grass and do it in the grass that way. But well, number one, the sun can really hit it and really bleach it really quick. And then you don't have to worry about the fumes or anything. Yeah. What's everybody doing today? Did you all have a good weekend? Let us know. Let us know. We're excited to chat about our new live schedule. I say new, but it, I mean, you know, it's not super new. We're not really changing up too much for you. And it's not set in stone. If we don't it like no, it, we can switch yes, it back. Yes, uh, just for the for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna try out a little schedule. And to be honest, I mean, appointments happen, things get in the way, things gotta be switched around, which is totally fine and normal. But for right now, for our amazing members, we're going to try to do some member-only videos for you guys on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. How oh. stinking fun is that? Yeah. So since we're going to be doing that for our members, we're actually not going to be going live on YouTube on Wednesdays. But, 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 you will see a pre-recorded video on Wednesdays with us. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try out some member-only videos every week for you guys. So if you're members and you're excited because the past couple have been, have been really fun, uh, we just get to chat about whatever we want. Since it's members, we don't have to we don't have to sell anything. We can just uh, be there and hang out with you guys. So 
Uh, we hope you enjoy those. We hope you like them. And yeah, this is not set in stone at all, but we're going to try it out. See how it goes. Yeah, so we're th ideally on a normal week, we would be live here on YouTube Tuesday and Thursday, live in the private Facebook group on Wednesday, and then and there's also an organic on Wednesday. Now, so East Eastern Standard Time. We're going to set it out at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Which means on East Coast, West Coast, it's going to be like 6 a.m. and then lunchtime. So you guys will be able to enjoy it right when you wake up or maybe when you have lunch. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna try it out. We're going to see how it goes, you know? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be careful. I'm going to pull this thing up so I'm not... Uh, gonna get any bleach on me? No, not like I have it. This is literally my bleach hoodie. I think you got more on your. Did I? I think so. Sweet. Add it to the collection. And I'm gonna take a weeder tool. And I'm gonna pull up from the bottom, and then use my finger and just pull this vinyl off, just like that. Now, this is still wet. Ideally, you would let this dry in the sun. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. Ideally, please let this dry in the sun if you can. Someone asked if we would spray it with peroxide to stop the bleaching. Um, you can do that. I just did mine in cold water. Yeah. There, I was about to say, there's not a huge need to do the whole peroxide thing, especially if you're outside and you like the way it looks and like you're cool with it. Take the hose to it and then be done with it. Throw it in the wash by itself. I would put it in there by itself, definitely, with the bleach that's on it. Just like you would tie-dye shirt, you know, just be careful. And then these bulb, bulb ones, start with that end. Because they always, since it's so thin at the top right there, it always ends up breaking right there. And you're doing twice the work. So if you pull it from that direction, you won't have to. And see, this one bled even a little bit more than the other one. Mm -hmm. But with the design being bleach like this honestly not a big deal really it's not like it's illegible does the bleach weaken it. the fabric to get holes easily this fabric is pretty thick i've never had any holes in the ones no. that i've bleached Me either and, and i've like left it on for a while yeah yeah and i like i said i used to wear mine a lot it's still it's, it looks brand new honestly fall babe i think it's really cute it is adorable. So cute. You can still read it great. That's cute. I love it. I love it. Let me hold it up. Look how cute. That's cute. Yep. Very cute. Fall babe. And of course behind me, another fall babe. Like I said, that one kind of bleached to a really cute burnt orange. I like that a lot. I personally love the color of this one though. Yeah. No, she, yeah. she cute. She cute. Very, very cute. Is so, this permanent or removable vinyl? It is removable, yeah. but you can use permanent too if you want. Because you can remove all vinyl. Even if it says it's permanent. You guys know that by now though. It's trickery. It's trickery. We're done. That was quick. Bing, bam, boom. So cute too. Like honestly. Now I have so to go to cute. Walmart. No, run. Run to Walmart. Do it. I'm going to take both of these home. I think I'm going to give one to my sister. Um, you know, we might can wear them at a pumpkin patch or something this year. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. I'll have to. I'll look and see if they have any infant ones we can do one for Charlie. Oh my gosh, I will trip. I didn't even I think about going there. I know. And looking. Yeah, I'll look when I go to look for the kids. <laughs> but it's cute. Twelve bucks. Sure, you, most people have bleach. Most people have a spray bottle, which means you could make this right now. Use that Dollar Tree vinyl that has absolutely no use in the world. Use that on yeah. this, you know, just something like that. But Charlie said, mm -hmm, don't hate me, but I'm not sure I would ever wear that. Remember, don't hate me. No. <laughs> so funny. No, no listen, oh it's it's totally fine. Totally fine. Like I said, I will put on a short sleeve. I'm hot all the time. So I will put on like a short sleeve shirt, leggings, some boots, and put this over it and head out the house and be able to take it off when I get hot. Me and Becca are cardigan fiends. Mm -hmm. Anything that can kind of go over my short sleeve shirt, I'm all for. Or a tank top or something like that. So th I, w I will wear this. I will. I will wear it. I'm excited to this fall for sure. Especially now that I saw the size of my old one. I'm extra glad I got one for the, the spooky season coming up. Yeah, Jennifer said, I saw shirts like this in a gift shop for over $50. So we have a boutique here um, in Morristown. And I have this, remember that really like, 
bright colored one. It doesn't look like fall colors or yes. flannel at all. Yes. I got it from, it was Priscilla and Pearl or whatever, but I yeah. paid like almost 50 bucks for it. Yes. Yeah. And then I learned how to do it myself. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm with Becca. I love the bleach dip dye. Yeah. That's yeah. what mine is. is I, dip I love it. It looks so cool. Uh, and that's even easier than this. That's even easier than this, yeah. honestly. <sighs> but yeah, go go to Walmart. Order them online. They have 15 colors, 14 sizes. You're going to find something you want there for sure. Uh, I didn't know this one was going to bleach to like that peachy color. I like it a lot. I do too. Um, I like them all. This one's probably before the ugliest color. But again, that looks cool. I don't know. I liked it too, though. I like that. Becca likes red. That's true. Yeah. I don't. That's why this blue one's my favorite. So I love it. I hope you guys did too. Yes, Heather, please like the video. It'd be cute on a throw pillow too. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. How do you do the bleach dip dye? Well, guys, maybe Becca will do a video on it. I could do a member only on it. Huh. Maybe I'll do a member. I was going to do a fun um, Halloween bag tomorrow, but maybe I'll do a member only on the bleach bot or bleach bag, the bleach, bleach dip shirt. tomorrow. And then we'll if do you the can bag. Find we'll do the bag. Charlie or one of the kids would be easy to show. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. It'd be oh, so much easier. So yeah. Everything's easier to do it little. I don't know why I didn't think of that, Becca. Yeah. I was thinking selfishly, I wanted it to fit me. But putting it on baby Charlie would be too much for me. Too much for me. I have 13 dyed bleach shirts. I think you're just going to make them. There's a couple typos. Sorry, Lorraine. That's good, though. That's, you have 13 to do. That's great. What color is the one you did with your monogram? The one I did with my monogram? Can you not see it? it let me take it down. Navy and kind of a pinky red. Yeah. With, here's, is that here's gold the through it? Is it here's gold through it or tan through it? I think it's pretty. I really like it. He's okay. Please show overhead again. Of mine or this one? Oh, no. It's also backwards. Yeah. Woo! You're a train wreck today. It's one of those days I'm telling you I should have just stayed home. I don't know. I don't know. You, have you had those days you go out and you're like, why did I leave the house? Yeah, most days I'm that why way, Why did actually. I do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but this is this one. Let me show you my other one. I'll get it down. I brought a hanger from home. Here's this one. Fall babe. Really cute. And then here's my monogram, which this one is insanely crisp. I love crisp. that one. It's insanely crisp. I don't, I wish I could ask four years ago, Rachel, how she made it so crisp. Maybe, maybe it's the spray bottle because this looks like it was a very even spray. Yeah. And then these look a bit more sporadic as a spray. Maybe that was it. But yeah, no, they're cute. They're cute. I still like, yeah, I, very cute. This one might be my favorite actually. Oh, oh. The writing is not vinyl. The writing was, you can go back and rewatch too to, to really understand. It was a vinyl decal yep. that was put on the shirt then bleached and then the decal was removed, removed. so it was kind of like a reverse stencil yes yes are we dressing charlie up as a bee for halloween he is gonna be a skunk <laughs> he's gonna be a little stinker skunk uh here's one of my pet peeves sorry because it's a weird pet peeve i don't love when kids dress up with costumes that the head of the animal is over their head. Does that make sense at all? Yep. I want them to be what they're wearing. I don't want a big old pig head hanging over like in a headpiece. I don't want the pig to be, I want him to be the pig. Yeah. So I bought a little skunk costume that just goes over, has little ears and it has the big skunk tail. It's so cute, but he's the skunk. Too often you see those costumes with the big, Heads over. I don't know why I hate them. Like you unicorn, can't see their face. Like if it's a unicorn, the unicorn's little. It's just like sagging, and then the kid gets hot and doesn't want it on there. Yeah. Um. I don't know why it's pet peeve. It's a weird one. But he's gonna be a little skunk this year. And my mom actually purchased his costume. She said I want to purchase it and then keep it for other grandbabies or just to 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 have as a keepsake because it's a little skunk costume and it's adorable. So she splurged on it um, from Pottery Barn. But it's very cute. So cute. It's so cute. I can't wait to see him in it. Is the bleach dip method when you squish it into a cup? I don't do it into a cup. I do it into like a bowl or a bucket or something like that. Again, 
outside next to the fall next to the spigot with a bucket would probably be the easiest but yeah i normally do them outside it's going to be interesting to do it in here but we, we might can not or try or we'll see it'll be fine i'll figure it out i'll just wear clothes i really don't care about yeah yeah little stinker yes he is going to be a little stinker in the skunk costume um, I, as soon as he put it on, cause I was thinking he's just going to be a skunk. It's going to be skunk. And then he put it on and I thought, oh my gosh, he looks like the lost boy from Peter Pan. His name is Tootles. If you didn't know the lost boys from, I love Peter Pan. Uh, all the lost boys are like bears and little characters. And one of them is a skunk. And I thought he looks just like Tootles, the skunk from Peter Pan. Uh, but he's cute. Yeah. Oh, I'll take pictures too. I might even con Becca into taking some pictures of him in his skunk costume one day. I might do that. Oh, please do. Plus, he's six months, and maybe maybe he needs a couple little cute pictures for his six months. Please, I would love that. I, I might make Becca take some pictures. She came over the day, I, not the day I got back, the next day I got back from the hospital, and graciously took pictures of him. I treasure those more than she even knows. I loved it. Because, I mean, I didn't plan for it. She came over, and she's like, we're taking pictures of this baby, and I, I'll have him forever. I'm not one to splurge or do stuff like that or even think about it. So the fact that Becca does that for me is, it means a lot, for sure. I wouldn't have thought about it. My kids are all excited, of course, to go trick-or-treating this year. Yes, my mom asked me if I was going to take Charlie trick-or-treating, and I'm like, how exactly? Yeah, he'll really enjoy all that candy. I'm like, when I roll up with a skunk looking like me and be like, hey, he trick or treat. They well, know good and well. I mean that candy. Bex went. Bex went trick or treating his first year, which he was July, August, September, October, November. Five months old. Yes. But only went like we went to Anna's that's, house no, and we to went to our best different. friend's house. That's yeah, different. that's all we did. No, no. Yeah, but he got a crud ton of stuff. Well, Anna had him like a whole basket of toys. I'm glad and, he got some good candy. Mm -hmm. I don't know that there was any candy involved. There was like toys. They oh. he trick or treated for toys. That makes more sense. Well, it's the whole thing. Charlie's trick or treating for bath toys at mom's house. She bought him a ton of bath toys. I don't have a single bath toy for that boy. Bath. Well, he's, he doesn't really play with them right now. now. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's just now getting to where he's enjoying bath time, like you know, wanting to play. So mom literally bought him at Target this. It's a pirate ship that goes in the bathtub, and I'm like, mom, it's huge, but it's really cute. There's this, also, I didn't show you, Becca. It was from Target. It was like 30 bucks. And Mom's like, I'm going to get it. It's a little ride-on B. It has little wooden handles. And he sits on it. It's got little wheels. And he just rides it around. I thought I was going to die. I'm like, this will be decor. I, will sit I was going to say, we need to take his picture really on cute. it. I'm like, I will sit it yeah. down as a decor. Oh, I want to see it. It was beat up. So she bought one online, the one that was beat up. But it was so sticky cute. Anyways, what are your kids or grandkids being from Halloween? Let us know. Let us know if you have any questions about Oak and Lamb, about the project today. We got done a little bit early, so the craft is over, clearly, as we've been chit-chatting. Uh, so if you want to chit-chat, talk about anything, definitely let us know. Um... Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm sure. What are the kids going to be? Harry Potter again? Yeah, they didn't want to be. They wanted to be, um, Bex wanted to be Lightning McQueen, the actual race car, not a driver, but the actual race car. And Fallon wanted to be a blow-up unicorn, and I was going to let him, and then we decided that. Well, unicorn would have been really cool. I know. I know. Then, but we're, we, you know, we go camping with our friend Zach and Amber and we just all decided we would do a big Harry Potter theme, like all of us. So. Which is going to be fun too. Yeah. I already had the costume, so I don't have to buy them again. Perfect. Yeah. Plus, I think the older kids get, the more creative they get, the more expensive the costumes get. Oh, my kids are ridiculous. <gasps> you know, what was it Beckett wanted Fallon to be one year? A potato and a shovel? <laughs> Thank God they have a crafty mom, I guess. A potato and a shovel. I think that's what it was. I have it written down. I can't remember. He was, she was not a potato and a shovel. I, I make my kids, you know, because they're adorable, do like Batman and Robin type costumes. I, I'm sorry. I can't get over potato and shovel. I'm yeah. not. Ugh. My oldest wants to be Venom. Oldest daughter wants to be a unicorn. Middle son, Spider-Man. Youngest daughter, a uh, sky from Paw Patrol, and I want to put my baby in a suit like Boss Baby. Oh, that's cute. Where do you find a Venom costume for a kid? It'd be cool, though. That was a cool movie. I bet you haven't seen it. Venom, no, I haven't seen it. I haven't cool. seen it. I like Tom Hardy. I need... 
<laughs> Amy, Amy, say. Said, I need to be a potato. I have the perfect form for it. <laughs> Amy, stop it. Stop it. You guys, that is hysterical. Oh, gosh. So good. A potato. So one of them wanted to be a potato and one of them wanted to be a shovel or she wanted to be both a potato and a shovel. No, she was too young to choose. So he said, I know, I know, I have a great idea. Oh, and it was Bex. Like, he wanted her to be a potato and a shovel. Both. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how you would pull that off. Yeah, I have no idea. That is hysterical. Carly says you can get a Venom costume on Amazon. Huh. My boy wants to be a, a wolf. Oh, that's that's. I remember trick or treating. It it's it's not now like it was, unfortunately, because people are crazy and stupid, and then more rules have to change, and then things have to be switched around. Now, to be honest, the the safest thing to do is to go to trunk or treats at churches. That is like where you know your kids aren't going to find razor blades in their candy. But really, I mean, we have some good neighborhoods, neighborhoods here. And stuff, yeah, yeah. Are, are usually decently safe. The first, me and James, when we first got married, we lived in a trailer park. And for some reason, I had it in my head that we were going to have a ton of trick-or-treaters at this trailer park. <laughs> so I spent like $100 at the Dollar General getting those hideous bags. Like, you know, back in like the big jack-o'-lantern bags yeah. with the leaves in. Except I didn't have any leaves, so I used my indoor blankets. <laughs> it, filled, it filled up these jack-o'-lantern bags. I had like... Um, was it called solar power little ghosts all down the walkway? How many trick or treaters did you have? None. Not one. Rachel, I would have brought my kids. I, I was so I didn't. I, did I? I don't even think I knew you. No, you didn't. You didn't. We didn't meet till. Becca made me something absolutely stunning and gorgeous and amazing. It's on her Facebook if you want to see it. Okay. But uh, she asked me the other day. She was like, "Did you get married in 2018, right?" And I said. <laughs> After I joked with her for a minute, I said yes. And then it just makes me sad when I think about it. Because I wish I knew her. I wish I knew Becca again. Or just sooner. But it feels like I've known you forever. But I wish I have. Right? I wish I have. I know. I feel like we would have been BFFs. Oh, and then today, I put my foot in my mouth talking about bleach. We were talking about bleach and the UV resin and stuff. I was joking. And I said... Becca, when we're 40, after smelling all this and all the fumes and stuff, we're probably going to have some kind of weird condition. And she goes, Rachel, I'll be 40 in five years. And I was like, oh, right. And then I kind of pulled my foot out of my mouth and I said, it doesn't feel like it. I forget all the time that we have an age gap. I forget it all the time. Mm, you're just so young and beautiful. That's it. For sure. Absolutely. Beautiful. Yes. I can keep stacking stuff up until you feel better about it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hello, ladies. I have a question. My daughter's wanting to do the bleaching on teas, and they are red. So is there a certain time to leave it so it will be more white than just a pink color? Connie. Um, no, you just need to watch it. And especially since it's cotton, it could eat through before it says white as you want. So um, you have to take the color into the first color into consideration. Yeah. Bleach. Most of the time, especially if it's not 100% cotton like this one, it's not going to take all the color out of all the colors in the shirt. Now, since it's 100% cotton, it might take all the color out. But like Becca said, it might not be um, long enough until it just starts eating away at that shirt, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, bleaching is finicky. Like, there's no... There's no exact science to it, exact time or anything like that. Like, I've had shirts that were the same brand and one would bleach and turn almost immediately and the other one I had to leave for 30 to 45 minutes and it still never turned good. So, yeah. I, it hit or miss. Sort of a crap yeah. shoot. Cat, sadly, 40s in my rear view, but I, you're... F Cat, there's no way you're 51. Lies. You're lying. <gasps> My mom is... What? She just said you're old enough to be your mom. I, you you are my mom's age. And I can't... I can't... You're not 51. She doesn't seem 51. No. no she doesn't at all. Well, not that 51 is old, but... No, no. Not, yeah. not saying that. But knowing that I've seen Kat and, you know, in the presence and talked to Kat and I know Kat... Uh, no, 
No. I was going to guess early 40s, Kat. I, w- I would have never guessed you were 51. Wow. Shut up, Rachel. <laughs> it's a compliment. I'm telling you. You're the one that put your age out on the internet. I mean. <laughs> Twilight said, Kat, you're just a kiddo. Maria said, I met my BFF when I was 59. So we have more years together. Yeah. I know. I don't make friends very easily either. Again, I did not get to meet Becca before she was hired to work with me full time five days a week. And I thought, gosh, I hope I like her. No, you were sweaty and nervous. I was like, because it was honestly most days it was it's I knew it was just gonna be me and Becca and I'm like what if what if I just don't get along with her what if we don't have anything in common it's so funny because the first couple of days that we worked together well my first couple of days I just did like a lot of paperwork and stuff like that and then um once we were actually working just the two of us I still didn't really talk to you for a couple of days because you were filming organic videos and when Rachel would film organic videos it was like a freaking frenzy talking nonstop. Because she had to. It was and, like all day. Like I would And it was in. like eight to ten videos in a day. And I was like, oh my gosh, what <laughs> have I done? <laughs> but it's fun. Speaking of that, Rach is working on the best blooper reel ever. You guys had the idea for our yes, one it was year all's idea. We were like, what do you want to see? And you all said a blooper reel. Well, I'm going through every single pre-recorded video that we have ever. Which is 300. Which is over 300 videos. Yeah. There's 285 videos on just on YouTube. We've went through a couple of fan favorite lives and are popping in some segments from lives that are really funny. But most are complete true bloopers from us filming pre-recorded videos. That honestly, guys, it, now one, usually blooper videos that I've ever seen. I've made a couple. They're like five to eight minutes. They're not long. This one is like 15 right now, and I'm probably a fifth of the way through all these videos. But I can't take it's there's It's so funny. It's too funny. It's really funny for me because, uh, one, I, like, forget things that happen. Um, but two, I don't feel when Rachel's here filming, I'm generally not here. So I don't know what goes on, <laughs> which is more embarrassing because I'm talking to myself and I'm yeah. singing and I'm cussing and I'm, <laughs> it's like, cause you'd be like, oh, Rachel's putting on for the crowd. There's no, no one there's no one. <laughs> it's just me. Oh my gosh. But I forget a lot that happens too. You guys, the intro is chef's kiss at it's so good. I just can't wait for you guys to see it. I can't wait. So good. That's on the 18th, October 18th, when we celebrate our one year anniversary, which is exactly one year from when we started. It's so funny. I was looking back at our first meeting at 60 Beans, which was October 18th, because uh, we took a picture. I'm glad we did. But I think we're getting a tattoo. I think we on the 18th. She, she'll see it eventually. It's winter. I was going to have long sleeves. She'll see it eventually. I know. Yeah. Blow my cover. I'm kidding. No. Yes. I think. We're hoping to do it that day. Like before the live. We're going to go get inked up the very day that we come and go live. How fun is that going to be? So that's really exciting. And then we are going to be making some, a snack, a little snacky snack. And then Anna and Rachel are going to compete against each other to put together one of the puzzle lights. And I am going to be doing it as well, but I'm wearing the drunk goggles, um, which I got to admit, I'm still going to blow you all away. Guys. I, f- I failed out of the entrance exam to the school I went to twice because they're like, just do the best you can. We want to see how quick you can get it done. It, it, if you say anything is timed, I literally turn into an idiot. I'm not <laughs> kidding. I'm not kidding. I am going to be, I'm going to put, I, it's going to be a shame. You guys are going to be embarrassed for me. I can't help it. Do it on the I'm live so we can with- hear you scream. Surely tattoos do not hurt. <laughs> no, no. Now I've heard some places that hurt, like on your on top your, of your head, yeah. on, you know, crazy places. Um, now I, I literally can laugh and joke and cut up oh, during yeah. tattoos. It's just not a big deal to me. No, especially mm-hmm. where we're getting them. Yeah. It's not, not a big deal. Um, Bell, it is not going to be Roman numerals. We'll show you guys that day. But we're all getting the same exact tattoo. It's going to be a matching tattoo. Um, it's going to be like right here. Yay, big. <laughs> Yay, big. 
<laughs> it's going to be really cute, though. You guys are going to love it. We've been planning it. And then today I was like, when Well, you were pregnant when we started, so we couldn't get to. Until yeah. April, and then summer happened, and summer was rough, you know. So <clears throat> it is what it is. Now we're hopefully going to be able to do it. Yeah, did he text you back? Well, you know, I texted him at um, 9.45. No, he has not texted me back yet. He probably will later today. He's he's given me a couple of tattoos. Um, He's incredibly good at the type of tattoo that we're wanting to get. Plus, I don't think he'll be booked up like the people who are Becca and Anna's favorite, which I would love to go to. But honest to God, I see her Instagram message. She's like, opening up for fall of 2028. And I'm like... I told you that we, she's so booked. She opened it. I scheduled her then one minute, and then uh, thankfully I got in for me and Anna and yes. Ben and Fred. And then, um, like within five minutes or something, she was like closed Listen, for a whole quarter. On, for yes, for a whole it's quarter. Crazy. It's ridiculous. Is that Black, Amber Lynn? And yeah, Rose? yeah. It's ridiculous, but she does an exceptional work. Blackwing Angels. Is that what we're getting? No, How did it's Oak and Lamb no. themed. Oak and Lamb themed. Yeah. Ooh, Renee got a new tattoo last Wednesday. Renee. Are the hubbies and Jan getting tattoos? Uh, Jan does not have a tattoo. Um, Mark does not have a tattoo, nor does he want one. James has one. Mm-hmm. Wayne has several. Yeah. But they're not getting tattoos, no. No, James has, like, big, big, big plans for his tattoo. Does he? None of them I know. Some of them he doesn't even know what they say. And I'm like, let's rethink this. Celtic. Celtic, Celtic yeah. symbols and stuff, and I'm like, okay. Oh, well, guys, thank you for being here. We made some really cute flannel shirts. Go to Walmart, 12 bucks, drop in the bucket. Maybe they have some in the kid sizes. I will die if they have, like, a, a baby one. Um, or even if it's a toddler, he can wear it next year or something. He can, he can wear Fallon and Beckett's old ones. True. I don't even think, well, I don't know that I have them that small. I might. I'll look. I'll look. Becca has insane taste, so whatever she wants to give me, I'll take. Uh, but you guys have a fantastic day. If you are a member of Oak and Lamb, you will see us live tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. in the Facebook group. If you are not a member, what is stopping you? Files, commercial use, licensing, amazing member-only perks, and that Facebook group that is unmatched. It's amazing. So definitely click the link down below, grab 35 bucks off your very first year with us using that code 35 off. And that way tomorrow you can join in on the member only exclusive fun. But uh, unless there's any other questions, we'll go and we'll see you guys tomorrow. (laughs) Bye everyone.